Hello everybody and welcome to Easy Medicine. My name is Carsten, I'm a fourth year medical student and today we're gonna look at statistics. Wait, 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 before you click off. It might be interesting in the end because we're gonna look at the top 10 causes of death global and then we'll look at the difference between low income countries and higher income countries. It might be interesting in the end and if you quite possibly might enjoy this video consider subscribing and leave a like to support the channel thank you very much so we're going to look at the top 10 causes of death um, in the year 2016 65.9 million deaths occurred and more than half of them were due to the top 10 causes of death you might wonder right now why are we looking at statistics that is from 2016 um, these statistics take a long time to develop and to be really well funded have a lot of data and they needed two years to evaluate all this data so this statistic is in fact from 2018 so let's get right into it top 10 global causes of death 2016 number one is ischemic heart disease Ischemic heart disease is basically myocardial infarction heart attack. This is a disease that is really well known in more developed countries as this is a disease that is due to an excessive lifestyle and more obesity in the population. Stroke is basically the same. Stroke means there is a clogged vessel in the brain that leaves one area of the brain without blood supply causing a variety of symptoms number three is the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease copd copd is basically a combination of a chronic bronchitis so an inflammation of the airways and emphysema emphysema is characterized by structural change in the alveoli as their walls are destroyed and there is air traffic so in copd what basically happens is that the airways are more and more clogged and there's less and less oxygen in the lungs okay now in number four comes in the first infection lower respiratory infections um, what is meant by this is for example the coronavirus coronavirus is an infection of the lower respiratory tract same goes for all different kinds of pneumonias if they are viral or bacterial they are really really high risk because patients who lie in bed a lot tend to accumulate more and more bacteria in their lungs as they are not ventilated good enough so these bacteria can grow there and cause death this is why um, for patients that are in the intensive care unit and cannot leave the bed there's regular check with x-ray of the lungs to see if there's any change so we can detect pneumonia very early so number five comes in alzheimer's disease and other dementias this is really interesting because we're gonna see that a few years ago this was not the case that this was ranked that high and scientists need to figure out why it is more and more on the path upwards so then we got trachea bronchus and lung cancers very very prominent in countries who have a lot of smokers because this is the number one risk factor besides the genetic factors that might play into all kind of different cancers but smoking is the number one risk factor for those cancers diabetes mellitus is also a disease of the well fat the more people are obese the more diabetes mellitus is prominent in the whole society so this is actually due to our lifestyle yeah road injuries are up there at number eight and last two are globally diarrheal diseases and tuberculosis so diarrhea are all kind of infections that are caused by salmonella or cholera or e coli variety of diseases or pathogens that might cause diarrhea and it is very very dangerous 
and tuberculosis of course is a very nasty infection but it is not known anymore in the highly developed countries i've never seen a patient with tuberculosis myself and yeah we're gonna have a look if this is only the case for the lower developed countries in a few moments so let's hop back um, 20 years from now and we can instantly see that um, the diseases which are more of the infection type are much more prevalent we see it instantly here's more red than uh, right now so we got uh, hiv and aids up here and tuberculosis and diarrheal diseases are also much more causes of death the reason for this is that we made huge advances in treatment we are much more advanced right now in antibiotics and also in watch out antiretroviral medications these are the medications that we can use to treat aids okay we have not the cure right now but we can limit aids so people are able to live with this more than like 20 years ago this is absolutely awesome so and now we are gonna scroll down and we are going to look at different incomes uh, income countries and the causes of death there because we are going to see that there is a big big difference between highly developed countries and countries that are sadly not so developed right now because this influences the ability of medical treatment for each and every person so and if we now look at the top 10 causes of death in low income countries in 2016 we see that there's even more red more infectious diseases and these could be limited if those country had a better access to modern treatment methods and more financial abilities so this is very very sad to see also preterm birth complications those are really really low in uh, highly developed countries but sadly um, this is also due to the limitations to um, to medical to medical care and the access to medical care throughout the population um, you see that hiv aids is also up there um, this disease is absolutely more prevalent in those countries um, yeah lower middle countries you see that also now ischemic heart disease is at the top it's not at the top in low income countries but as soon as we got the lower middle income countries ischemic heart disease is at the top and it's going to stay at the top um, ischemic heart disease is absolutely the number one and this is due to our lifestyle our lifestyle of eating and, and, and no not only eating but feasting um, yeah very very interesting to see you see also the preterm birth complications are still up there um, but otherwise it kind of looks similar to that what we saw in the global deaths so all accumulated together let's go to upper middle income countries and we see that uh, that the red infections cause of death is nearly gone just the lower respiratory infections but i already explained why we have those um, those death and why they are so prevalent and you see that cancer is far far up there with the chronic pulmonary disease stroke and of course ischemic disease and now if we go further down to the high income countries we see that stroke ischemic heart disease alzheimer's disease which is very interesting and i think that scientists are trying to figure out why these deaths are so much prevalent in these countries maybe it's due to the to the older age people get older in these countries maybe it's due to that fact i don't know actually and um, yeah i'm keen to find out in the future and you see that colon and rectal cancers are now inside the top 10 this is also very interesting because this might also be due to the fact that these countries are eating much more meat meat or especially red meat is known to be a risk factor uh, for colon cancer and also our access to all those frozen foods and and there are various reasons why colon cancer is in the in the top 10 for high income countries breast cancers also know with their um, and kidney diseases which go kind of hand in hand with diabetes mellitus uh, because a lot of kidney pathologies might be due to diabetes mellitus yeah why well, we need to know why people um, 
where people die. This is very interesting and uh, maybe you don't know. It's due to the fact that if we know why people are dying, the health authorities and the public health departments can try to prevent this. So for high income countries, we need campaigns to change lifestyle and we can, we can actually do it and there are people thinking constantly about this, how to increase public health. And these studies really, really help those people to figure out what's going wrong, what are we doing good? We are really good in high income countries to prevent death from infection because we have good antibiotics, we can early diagnose and treat it. So this is really, really good. But on the other hand, of course, we need to improve the lifestyle of the people, get them outside, feed them good food so we can prevent those, um, those diseases that are due to obesity. Yeah guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I know this was statistics, but you got through it. I think it was quite kind of interesting to see the differences, why people die and where they die. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.